We are back for part two of building a Camry golf green, and I got some extra help this time. First, we had to set up a show to divert Lily's attention while we worked. Time for the good stuff. Let's add some cups. I cut the hole with the box cutter in the X pattern and pushed the material in. I then added the cup and tapped it in with a hammer. I even managed to sneak in a couple pines. You know I had to give it a quick test before we moved on. On to the next cups and these were not easy. I must have had the drill not square, so I ended up melting the cups over the stove top and added a little soap to help get them in. It was time for more testing after I had them in place. Time to vacuum up again to make sure we don't have any debris messing with our putts. All right, time to get into some sloped putts and use this thing. Here's an aerial view to see how much the putts break. My daughters Leah and Lily love to test my ability to stay focused. At this point, I feel confident with dynamite going off in my backswing. Always lower back down after use. Leah Lou rolled in a nice putt here. Yes, she only has one sock on. Lil wanted to roll a few as well. It's always a princess dress or no shirt for her. On to uphill and downhill putts. Putting through obstacles is optional and also makes it harder. You'll notice a small right to left break in my green due to it not being perfectly balanced, which is fine. Since using the green, I've noticed I'm great at leaving putts short. These next two putts are at live speed and not in fast forward to see how quick it actually is. A little extra body English on this one willed it in. Lastly, drop it down when finished. Tough break here for Mama. She doesn't know how hard that is to actually do. A bit off the toe here, but we'll work on that stroke. Thanks for being a part of my build. Message me if you have any questions with yours. And be sure to use code AllenGolf at CamryGolf.com for 10% off your order.